You know those days where you achieve nothing, and it's because you have so much on your plate you don't know where to begin? <laughs> Basically, what I've done is I've created this template. It's called the Quick Wins Template. So there's this idea called quick wins, where basically you try to do a very easy, small task, get that done. That way you get the dopamine hit of achieving something. That way it's going to be a lot easier for you to do the next task and the task after that, because you've already got on that quick win to get you off into the right energy and the right mindset. I'll show you how the quick wins template works. It's very similar to my eat the frog template, which is kind of the opposite of that, where you try to start the day with the hardest task first. But this is for people who are struggling to get started in their day as they feel just a big overwhelm with everything they have to do. So here we have a calendar of non-completed tasks. As you can see, there's no tasks, and there's no tasks in here. But we do have some tasks that haven't been assigned a date. And when you scroll down here, you can see these tasks. So here we have my tasks. We have an easy task, we have an easy-ish task, email that person, and a difficult task. The easy task, that's our quick win for the day. And basically, we want to do that first. So we can do one of two things. We can either drag that into the day, like that, or we can click here and select today, and then it will appear there as well. Now, I'm a big fan of Cal Newport, as you might know from previous videos. So he kind of breaks tasks down into three kind of categories. We have shallow tasks, we have deep tasks, and we have email and communications. So it's actually helpful to break down the tasks into not just quick wins, but whether it's a shallow task, a deep task, or a session of writing emails and responding to people and using Slack or whatever it is. So what is a shallow task or a deep task or a deep work? Well, basically deep work is focused activity at your maximum cognitive function. So that's where you're fully concentrating and you're really, you know, working at your, at your best. And it's typically on something that's super important. It's like your most vital thing for the day. If you need help breaking stuff down into how important it is, I recommend using the Eisenhower matrix. And then the shallow tasks are kind of the opposite of that. That's where it's a bit more admin kind of tasks and stuff that, you know, you have to do, but it's just not as important. So let's add those tasks into the day here. We'll do that. Let's say we've gone through all of our emails. We just tick done and then it disappears from this view. So if we scroll up, it will actually show up still in all my tasks. Here you can see it's ticked, but it's just hidden in this one. So this is probably the view that you'll be operating in the most, just the not completed tasks. But we still have this view in case you wanna go back and see tasks that you did on either today or on another day and you're wondering what you achieved that day. The quick win, there's a few different opinions on quick wins actually. One is kind of all the different things that you should do in the morning, like make your bed and drink water and stuff like that. But I kind of pile that into your morning routine. I actually have a morning routine video. It's a science-backed morning routine video uh, with ideas from Andrew Huberman who's a genius. Um, I recommend watching that video if you wanna get a good morning routine habit. But quick wins for me at least is kind of five minute tasks. So these are not deep tasks. These aren't difficult things that you need to do throughout the day. These are kind of the super easy stuff that you have to do, but it's just not that difficult. So it's, it's literally a quick win. It's a very easy thing to do. This could be something like take out the trash, to call someone and book a meeting. This is a meeting about having a meeting. To do some journaling, something like that. Anything that takes kind of five minutes. So when you tick off this quick win for the day, you're actually doing a few things. A, it's good for your energy and dopamine because achieving stuff gives you dopamine. It's good for you. It, it makes you feel good. And secondly, you've told your brain, okay, today we're achieving stuff. So it kind of gets you on the right path for the day. It feels a lot easier to then do the next task because, oh, I've already done a task. That's kind of the main difference with the eat the frog method. These are kind of the two polar opposites. The quick wins method is basically what's the easiest thing I can do today just to get the ball rolling, just to to start the process of actually working. And then throughout the day, the tasks will get harder. And then the eat the frog method is the exact opposite. You're starting with the most difficult task and then going to easier and easier tasks throughout the day. So both work and I've tried both. It really depends on kind of my energy throughout the day, how well I slept, what I did the day before, stuff like that. So it's worth playing around to see what works best for you. So when you're working in this template, what you'll do is you can either add a task straight in here so you'll just hit plus and then you can write in your task. So cool guy. And then you could select the task type. So let's say this is a shallow task and then you can connect it to a project. So the project here, I'll just show you how that works. But we have a database down here with project one, two, three. You can add as many projects here as you want, but this could be something like, you know, a uh, side hustle or something like that. And that's fitness and then, I don't know, photography business. So why bother connecting it? 
to another task? Well, there's two reasons. The first one is, let's say this shallow task is, it's a project three. So uh, let's just say that's the YouTube channel. Notion setups. By the way, subscribe if you're into Notion. So when you're writing down notes, if it's for the task specifically, you can write it down here. Record a really good video today. However, if you wanna take notes for the entire project, then you would do that in here. So this is where I'll put information for anything relating to Notion setups. The second reason is we can actually sort our tasks by project. So here you can see I've actually done three different views. So if I just hit filter here, you can see where projects contains side hustle. So any task that involves my side hustle will appear here. That way I can get a quick view of what's everything that I have to do, what's all of my tasks relating to just this project. So that's also a super useful way to break it down. So you might have your side hustle, you might have your full-time job, you might have schoolwork, you might have university, whatever it is. All of that stuff will go here. And then you can quickly see, okay, you know what? Today I'm gonna be doing university work. And then you can click here and see, here's everything that I have to do for university. That way, when you're time blocking, again, I've done a video all about time blocking, explaining that and how it works and all the benefits. That way, when you're going through all of your university tasks, you can see, okay, you know what? Yes, I have time to do this university task on Tuesday. So you can drag it there and be sure that you actually have time to do some deep work relating to your university work. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I recommend watching this video now, The Eisenhower Matrix, so you know how to break down your tasks in terms of their importance and urgency.